Come on. All right, Bubba's. Hey, warning. This might be the best looking cat you've ever seen. It's all right, Bubba's. Don't be worried. Except this is your second home. Okay. For the last almost two years, he's been dealing with a chronic eye inflammation condition. And so, anyway. Shazam, Bubba. He's not the only reason we're here often. Just relax. You're all right, dude. That's right. Just get cozy. That's right. That's why we have a dog carrier to move our cat. Hey, big man. Yeah, it's actually not as bad right now as it has been. How long is that? Like, I don't know, since like Thursday last week, maybe. Since Thursday. Not the squinting, but the, the discharge. Mm -hmm. And then the squinting started properly on Saturday. And I'm guessing it was just he and Walter tussling. He's pretty sucky too. Like you know, he's like laying on us to sleep. He sits with me all he's the time. He's getting old. No, I, I mean, I can just old, never really be sure the difference in behavior is because he's feeling. What do you mean by getting old? Well, I think he's he's either eleven or twelve this year, and that's so do, do compared to Walter. To a way? <laughs> well, no, but I always find cats get more and more wanting the comfort of their humans as they get older. Now they're in there. Do you see the little cut right in the top yeah. corner? There seems to be also be a cut right in the actual, right near the nose, yeah. where the okay. discharge is. Let me take a look at that as well. Any, any excess of discharge? Let's actually put it a little closer. Come on here. Uh, let's start to take a look. It hasn't been wet discharge, so maybe that scab? Scab forms a couple of, uh, there are many, many reasons, well, not a couple of reasons, many, many reasons for a scab. One definitely is trauma. Two, their immune system is also a big thing because there are about five to six different secretions in the eye. Mm -hmm. right? So if the watery secretions are dried out because of uh, stress strain. When the mucus dries up very quickly, it will form that little goo in the eye. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, because we have a constant recycling mechanism, we have a duct on the top, a duct on the bottom. And whenever the excessive tears are there, they go through that duct into the nostril. Oh. But if uh, the tears are not there, it's more mucus it definitely will follow the same channel, but then it'll clog those areas it up. Clogs. And then everything tends to fall out. Right. Right. So, so take a look. Hey, is that the light? No? All right, so gently, gently, gently. So I'd like you to just uh, cup your hand underneath the jaw. Under the jaw? Yeah. yeah, underneath the jaw. So we'll just take a look from a distance first, see what it is. Yeah, there's a lot of mucus. Can you feel the bright light? No, no, no. And then let's take a look at the pump. It looks like his own trauma, traumatic scratch, not from Walter. How do you know? Um, just because when it's uh, a cut from another species, it'll be like a a longer cut, oh, more traumatic. Mm. So do you think he was just scratching his eye and caught himself? Just scratching his eye and caught himself. Good lord. He's a good candidate for a, a neck collar. No, the poor guy just got it he off. Just got it off. The third eyelid is okay. I don't see any problem with that. So let's take a look at this eye. Yeah. Oh, peak, peak. There's no other swelling around there. Yeah, the discharge is fine. Dental month, so let's take a look at the teeth. We definitely need some cleaning done. Did you hear that? Yeah, stinky. I'm just gonna check the IOP. IOP after we check the lens. Sorry, this is my new favorite word. <laughs> Do you want the light on or off? No, that's good. Okay, that's good. For doggies, it's a it's a big problem. 
cats have beautiful, beautiful eyes. You can you can go very easily. And uh, when they come to the clinic, they get stressed out anyways. So their pupils are dilated rather than constricted. It's when they are constricted we need to turn the lights off. No, but this looks great over there. Hey, buddy. Problem, right? Yeah. Let's take a look. The lens is almost uh, getting solidified like a cataract. Oh, shit. Yeah, because uh, I can't really see much at the back now. Does two that mean he's getting vision loss then? Two things can happen. Uh, sometimes the retina tends to get detached or the lens is becoming more solid. It's not a flexible lens anymore. Well, so, we've noticed evidence of that yeah. with bright light. One of them closes down and the other one stays wide open. Yeah, the left, and, and what happens is the nerve fibers, they crisscross right around here at the forehead. Mm -hmm. So for some it's 30% crossover, for some it's 40% crossover. So there's a test which we do bright light into one eye. We see the constriction if it happens and and the one that we're shining the bright light, that means that nerve is good. But if the opposite is also constricting, mm -hmm. that's called a consensual reflex. Mm -hmm. So I don't see that happening with the bright light in the left eye. I don't see it happening in the right eye. So that means there is a message, miss message or no message going from the left eye into the right eye. But the opposite is okay. Ah, hence the okay. mismatched. Mismatched. Maybe. So we'll take okay. a look at the pressures. So, you know, we haven't done any more topical drops. And the last antibiotics was whatever a month ago or whenever he came in for the slip wrist. So I started to think I was seeing a little bit of the same redness banding in the so-called good eye over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. And I thought, oh gosh, is that is that a normal amount for him that I just haven't noticed before? No, things or things, it... things are changing, and, mm -hmm. and I think you guys have observed it very well that if there are certain things that are happening that we should get a diagnosis done and immediately if we find that the pressures are up we're going to send you back to the specialist right yeah okay. Okay. well i mean we still have all the same eye drops like yep. i still have brand new unopened ones so we can we can always do that absolutely. start administering them again in both eyes i guess well, we'll see what the IOP is. Let's take a look. Yeah, why would we do both eyes? Because I I am wondering if the left eye is gonna is gonna start to go too in the same way. It's a bit loaded. Are we all set? Yeah. We'll deal with that first. Thirteen, thirteen. No kidding. 13. That is the lowest ever. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Baba. It's fine. Twenty-three, twenty-seven, twenty-six. Mm. Mm. That's a good observation. But well, no, though I, it was the. Stinky. The good eye that I thought I was starting to see redness in accompanying the regular uveitis in, right, well, well. in the bad eye. So, so the good eye is still good, right? The 13 was the left. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good. Then the redness that I saw in the good eye is mm -hmm. nothing, I guess. The redness in the left might be from just the... The irritation presently. The irritation in the trauma. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. So, at this level, do we start eye drops again? We start eye drops because the regular normal pressure is between 11 and 19, 11 and 18 for cats. Yeah. So anything over that, the minute it touches 20, 
okay. start to think about medications the minute it goes over 25 twice a day yeah and um, over 30 you got to go to dr wolf or, or dr okay. Yeah. okay some things we could control but uh when it goes over and beyond them they have to intervene either yeah. you know maybe do a laser therapy to try and drain some of the excessive pressure they can do that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there are many many new therapies now there is that a one-time drain or does that create a permanent channel of drain it's, it's a laser therapy so they just with the laser they puncture and allow mm -hmm. just a few droplets to, to drain out and, and that's it and that brings down the pressure but then the eye heals as well uh so it, you have to so get at that least done. it gives you enough brings down the pressure enough to allow medications to work because medications will not work if the pressures are too high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too, too high means you need to intervene. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes when the pressure is at 50 or 60, they even recommend taking the eye out. Yeah. Because there's no point in doing That's kind of, those. to be honest with you, the direction I'm going at this point. The daily eye drops are like, he hates it, we hate it, and I don't really want to take an eye out, but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. Everybody's on their knees underneath the table or underneath the couch or underneath the bed trying to get them out. So I kind of feel like... So for the scab, I'll give you the isophthal ointment. That's that's much better to apply than the drops. Mm -hmm. Is that the same ointment Drushka just had by any chance? If Drushka has it... Remember Drushka had that yeah, yeah, yeah. growth taken off? You have that. Is it the same? Same thing. You still have that, right? I, mean, I, I could call my mom and see if she has any left okay. because maybe we don't have to buy another one. Absolutely. Unless it's cheap, in which case I don't care. <laughs> Can we look at Skype? Absolutely. Cool.